Thank you for joining us here at Girl Scouts of Central California South for our Daisy Outdoor Art Maker Badge. So my name is Mary Higgins and I am a Girl Experience Facilitator here at Girl Scouts of Central California South. And today in our badge work, we're going to explore some concepts in art, uh, looking at colors the way that artists do and listening to the sounds of nature. So let's get started. During this outdoor art maker, you will be working on one of the steps in our Girl Scouts Love the Outdoors Challenge. This is a challenge where the girls learn to fall in love with the outdoors safely while practicing social distancing. Girl Scouts Love the Outdoors Challenge is helping us to gear up for Girl Scouts Love State Parks, which will be the weekend of September 11th and 12th. Based on your level, Daisies, you will need to complete 20 steps in order to receive the Girl Scouts Love the Outdoors Challenge patch. You can find the list on our website, girlscoutsccs.org, under the Girl Experience tab. Be on the lookout as our Girl Experience Department will be recording short and snappy videos for many of the other steps that you can complete to earn your patch. So before we get started, I wanna go over a few safety tips for when you're going into the out of doors. Um, as Girl Scouts, we always need to remember to wear closed toed shoes when we're doing outdoor activities. And make sure you're dressing the part. Make sure you're wearing the appropriate clothing if you think you're gonna be somewhere out in the forest, pardon, with animals and things. <laughs> you wanna um, consider, you know, sunscreen and bug spray. Um, you also um, may want to wear long clothes, long sleeves, if you think you might be in an area where you might find some ticks. Um, you, sorry, you'll want to uh, bring with you a reusable water bottle, and if you always want to take with you a grown-up, and that grown-up may want to make sure they have a cell phone in case they need to call for help. And, you know, just be aware of where you're going. Pay attention to where you walk. Keep an eye out for animals, and especially if you're going on a trail that can move in more than one direction so that you can find your way back. All right, so the first activity we're gonna work on for our Daisy Outdoor Art Maker Badge is a watercolor activity. You're gonna get out all your watercolors, your brushes and your paper, and some clean cups of water and you're going to take the watercolors and go ahead and paint whatever picture you want to paint. After that, you want to get some lemon juice. If you don't have any lemon juice in your house, vinegar should work. They call that the poor man's lemon juice. Um, but you want to have just a tiny bit of lemon juice because you're gonna like take them off your fingers and drop them on your paper, kind of like raindrops. You don't wanna flood your paper. You want them to just be drops around the picture that you had just watercolored. And so you're going to be a little scientist. You're gonna figure out what happens to the art you've created once you drop lemon juice drops on it. So that is a really um, interesting uh, activity. I can show you the picture that I painted. These are where the, the drops of lemon juice fell on the paper. And that's one of the things you can see what happens to the paint when you drop on those lemon juice drops. So, flies, my goodness. Okay, now that we've completed step one, we're gonna work on step two of your outdoor art maker badge. You um, go ahead and leave your, your painting to dry. The next step, you're gonna go outside with a grown up. Now, for this activity, you're going to play the quiet game and you're gonna go outside and you're gonna sit with your grown-up for five whole minutes and you're not gonna say anything. You're just gonna use your ears to listen. And you're gonna listen to how many animals you can hear in the wild that are where you live. If you live in town, you may hear different animals that you can hear like at my house this morning, I don't know if you can hear those peacocks calling in the background. They sound like, and you can hear some little birds twittering. 
and sometimes you can hear some ground squirrels barking but they really don't sound like a bark they sound like a really high pitched Yes, they do. I know you like to go get them, don't you? You like to chase the ground squirrels. And you may have pets. They're not really wildlife, but they make no noises too. Can you hear that? That's the peacocks. So, after you're done outside listening for five minutes, oh, Eva, sorry, I should move my camera. After you're done outside listening for five minutes, or as long as you can stand it. You're gonna go in back inside with your grown-up or your sibling and you're going to play a game. One of you is gonna stand in the center of the room and you're going to make the noise that you heard when you were outside. And the other person has to guess what animal you're trying to sound like. And then whoever guesses correctly gets to stand in the middle and make their animal noise. And you keep going as long as you want to play the game, as long as you can remember how many animal noises you've heard. So that's activity number two in our outdoor art maker Daisy Badge. Okay, for the third activity in our Daisy Outdoor Art Maker Badge, we're gonna work on a sun catcher. Now, the supplies you're going to need are flowers, leaves, grass, any kind of foliage that you can found, find out in your grass in your yard lying around on the ground um, n or you know if you're going on a hike you can pick up things and collect them and bring them home if you are at somebody's house or if you are in a uh, park if you're at a park you want to make sure that you never take anything home from a state or national park leave no trace principles say so you always leave behind you could take a picture but don't take any pieces of plant material home from a park without permission. At somebody's house, what you're going to want to do is you can ask them. Some people are okay with you picking a flower or two at their house. So, but the best practices is always finding something that's already fallen to the ground. And you're going to collect those things. You're going to take a paper plate, you're going to cut the circle out of the middle of the paper plate, and you're going to put down um, a sticky material that's clear. You can use clear contact paper. You can use um, the saran wrap that is the, the self-clinging adhering saran wrap that clings to each other. You can use even wax paper and iron the two sheets of wax paper together. But what you're gonna do is you want to get two, uh, two pieces of clear material you can see through. You're going to arrange all of your pieces on top of that clear material and then uh, seal them together on your paper plate. And then you can take markers or paints and decorate the outside of your paper plate however you would like to. You put a hole punch in that, put in some yarn, and you could hang it up from your window or you could hang it up outside anywhere. And that's how you can make a um, sun catcher out of natural plant materials. So thank you for joining us for these three activities in our Daisy Outdoor Art Maker Badge. To complete the other two activities, you can go to your local Girl Scout shop and pick up the Outdoor Art Maker Daisy booklet to put into your handbook, or you can go online to order that to be mailed to your home. And now you can even download it immediately onto your laptop or computer and work on your badges right away. Once you've completed those steps, you can have your parent or your troop leader contact the store and pick up your patches. So to finish our activity today, we're going to go ahead and follow a Girl Scout tradition and sing, um, make new friends. Cross your arms right over left. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. <clears throat> okay, I never said I was an opera singer. But thank you for joining us today. Have a great day.